There are some types of online learning communities. First, we discuss synchronous. Learning entails virtually attending a weekly class meeting at the same time as your instructor and students, even if you will be learning from a distance. There is a strict weekly time commitment for the class that cannot be changed. You will be having reading and tasks to finish outside of class much like in an on-campus course, to help you get ready for the discussion. This level of preparation on the part of the students, along with the focused agenda created by the teacher, guarantees that each class meeting is productive. Next is asynchronous. You can learn with asynchronous technology on your own timetable and within a set period of time. Throughout a one- or two-week period, you can ex- access and finish lectures, readings, homework, and other educational ser- resources at any time. Next is blogs. An online diary or informational website that, that displays content in reverse chronological order, with the most recent post appearing first, is known as a blog. It serves as a forum for writers to express their opinions on specific topics. Next is course management. In post-secondary education, a course management system is a platform of educational software that enables instructors and institutions to administer a range of course with a big student body and various teaching resources. Next is collaborative, for example, wiki. Students can add to and edit one or more pages of course-related information using a wiki, which is a collaborative tool. Wikis are collaborative in nature and help create a sense of community within a class. A wiki is essentially a web page with an open editing mechanism. Next is social networking. Social networking is the practice of maintaining contact with friends, family, co-workers, customers, or clients through a web-based social media platforms, through websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Social networking can serve a social purpose, a business purpose, or both. Next is social learning. In psychological theory, learning behavior that is controlled by environmental influences rather than by innate or internal forces. Next is online universities or online education. Type of instruction where students access the internet through their home computers. Online graduation and courses have grown in popularity over the past 10 years among many non-traditional students, including those who desire to continue working full-time or raising families. The host university's online learning portal frequently offers online graduation and course programs, some of which are conducted using digital technology. Last is skills and language exchange platforms. Working together with the person who is ideally a native speaker of the language you want to learn, known as your language exchange partner, and sharing skills to develop. Both learners have the chance to develop their target language abilities and proficiency while also promoting intercultural competence through a two-way process of direct dialogue and conversation. Now we have three examples of free online learning communities. The first one is the language learning communities. The second one is the green and civic learning communities. The third one is the scientific and academic learning communities. First, let us talk about the examples of language learning communities. Live Mocha. More than 4 million people have joined Live Mocha, 
to learn a new language together. The site offers free language lessons, opportunities to chat with native speakers, and other helpful resources. Bizu, language learners who joined this free language community can practice their skills with other people around the world. Bizu also provides interactive lessons for learning English, Spanish, German, French, and Italian. Make Me Sustainable Make Me Sustainable is a community of people who are concerned about their environmental impact. Community members can calculate their carbon footprint and learn how to take action to reduce it. Social Vibe This social community has helped to raise nearly $1 million for various causes. Community members can choose the cause they're passionate about and then help spread the word through MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, Blogger, and other social media properties. Change.org This online learning community raises awareness about important causes and encourages members to participate through petitions and other actions. My Happy Planet My Happy Planet is a user-driven community that makes it easy to find a language learning partner. Members are also encouraged to upload videos and post your own language and culture lessons. ResearchGate This online learning community doubles as a professional network for scientists and researchers. Members can connect with colleagues, search for new papers, and collaborate on special research applications. Prenatos is founded by the faculty of Boise State University. Prenatos is designed to help scholars network and public research. The global community welcomes scholars of every academic discipline. Academia.edu This academic community helps scholars discover what other people around the world are researching and why. Academia.edu makes it easy for any academic to stay abreast of new papers and developments in their field. Online resources are internet-based equivalents of more conventional curriculum resources, books, articles, features, movies, games, activities, and homework. The key difference is that online resources are digital and abo- available over the internet. So, it is any resource available on the internet in an online educational environment. The importance of online resources is that this study finds that shared resources are used by a substantial number of students to aid learning, increasing productivity, and improving teaching. There are some pre online resources for college students to be used for their studies. The first one is the Rapid e Learning Blog or Articulate Network. According to the developer's definition, it is a small nugget of interactive content that addresses one learning outcome only. It's relatively quickly and easily created. Incorporates appropriate visual and aural media and, and allows the creation of quizzes, tests for the learner to assess their progress. According to the learner's definition, it is a short duration, accessible, interactive, and fun learning object that is available 24 7 and allows me to quickly review and understand one aspect of a particular area of study on an as and when or just in time basis and then allows me to test myself on my understanding. The second is the Atrixware e learning solutions blog. It is a company that has developed a great online learning management system that enables students to create great presentations easily. However, the really valuable resource is the blog section of this website, where you can read fresh information about the most popular and most useful e-learning tools. The third one is the Atrixware e-learning solutions blog. It is a company that has developed a great online learning management system that enables students to 
um, create great presentations easily. However, the really valuable resource is the blog section of this website where you can read fresh information about the most popular and most useful e-learning tools. Ford is a sailor. It is a foundation started with a very simple, honest, and strong idea to make education free for everyone. If you are looking for free classes on all sorts of subjects, this is the place where you can find them. The Sailor Org. It is a pre-learning for pre-living. Fifth is the Study Guide Zone. It is, although the website looks outdated, Study Guide Zone is a great place for the free sources, free resources for any student who is looking for a way to improve the scores on a standardized test. The website offers study exams for SAT, ACT, and GED, among many other tests. Six, Getting Smart. It is a one of the most passionate learning-focused communities on the web. The website will lead you to ways and resources that will increase your studying effectiveness. Compass Learning, it is a website that helps teachers understand the strengths, motivations, and needs of every student so they can personalize their approach to different types of learners. Compass Learning is a product that assesses the needs and the strengths of a student and then prescribes a learning path according to his or her individual characteristics. KnowledgeNet, number eight, this is the website you should visit whenever um, you need useful resources or sources that will help you understand the lectures of IT-related subjects. Number nine, it is a course era or course era. This is one of the most valuable learning resources on the web. Students can find free courses provided by prestigious in universities. Almost all courses are offered, including humanities, computer science, business mathematics, biology, and more. This website is necessary for all students who want to expand their knowledge on a subject or find information they will use for their, social, for their school projects. Number 10 is Allison. Allison.com is a website founded with a noble goal to enable anyone to receive free education of high quality. All you need is a will to learn new things and this website will provide you with all necessary tools. 11. E-Learning Center. This comprehensive website will provide you with learning resources relevant to the subjects of web development and IT. Although some of the content is accessible only through paid subscription. There are also free resources that can be enough for you to advance your knowledge in these subjects. 12 is the findtutorials.com. This website collects useful tutorials from across the web, so you will find literally anything you need there. The best thing about findtutorials.com is that the users vote on the quality of all offered tutorials so you will know which links are worth clicking on. 13 is the course buffet. This search engine will lead you to often courseware accessible from different websites. This will save you from going from one source to another without finding what you need. And the 14, the I homework, the E homework. This app is available on all Apple devices, so you can access it whenever you are. The idea behind its concept is to make your life as a student easier. You can use E homework to quickly enter important tasks, course information, and homework assignments. And lastly, the open culture. This content offered on this website is not only useful for your school's project but your personal intellectual development as well. Open Culture delivers content from many different topics from writing tips and literature characters to world history and wars. One of the greatest benefits of the internet technology is that now everyone has access to the information they need. Thank you for listening and I hope that you learned something about our topic which is online communities of learning and online resources.